I'd like to understand uh, why love or hatred in this situation was immaterial. Gentleman wants to know, first of all, quoting St. Paul, who apparently had illumination, and that illumination, he said, was absolute. But when he identified himself with something, out of that identification grew hate and love. Why this contradiction? Is that the question, sir? Yes. Yes, sir. Look, I know nothing about St. Paul. Do you? What? And what is it? Imp how important is it? What somebody else says doesn't matter who it is. You know, sirs, this question of authority, which conditions our mind so deeply, is one of the most terrible things on earth. Go to India, and there they quote scriptures by the yard. And they say, are you saying this according to the scriptures? Have you read them or are you sharing with them and so on? They can't put all that aside and look at their own life. And they're frightened to look at their own life. It's an act of self-deception, an act of escape from themselves. I am not saying you are doing that, sir. All that I am saying is, is there such thing as absolute goodness? Call it by whatever name you like, enlightenment, truth, the immeasurable, the unnameable, and so on. Is there such thing as total goodness, absolute goodness? You inquire, and if you look to an answer in any of the scripture or any of the philosophers, you are not answering it for yourself, you are answering it according to somebody's explanation. And that becomes so utterly valueless. It isn't verity that says, I must find out for myself. It is an act of humiliation, of humility, that says, I know nothing. I don't know. Others may be true, what they have said, but I know nothing. So you abnegate all authority, deny it, the, and therefore you become extraordinarily humble to find out. And we are afraid to be so open, honest. Because we like to be very proud of our knowledge, the depth of our reading. But you may read all the books in the world, but you, if you yourself have not understood what goodness is and the flowering of that goodness in your life. What value is it what others say? 